All right, everybody, this is Will Toronto, uh, Armored Warfare Peacekeeper, and from also one of the uh, co-founders of Armored Warfare Leagues, bringing you all your tournaments and leagues in North America and Europe. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the custom match lobby and use it and set observers uh, for patch 0.15. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to the top of your menu here and click custom match. The menu will open up and you'll see um, you got some check boxes at the bottom. You can search for custom games, uh, show battalion games, hide games in progress so you don't want to see them. Um, over here you can see the owner of the room. There's a custom match there. He's put the description new room. Um, it, this circle here means the battle's in progress. This means the map it's on, uh, how many people are in it, and how many people are uh, in the observer mode. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a game. To create a game, simply click Create, and this menu pops up right here. So on this menu, you can pick Standard or Encounter. Uh, just for this purpose of this, we'll just keep it on Standard. Map Duration, we'll just you can see all the options there up to 25 minutes. We'll just keep it on 5 minutes. Do we want it Public? Private, friends only, or battalion only. So battalion only, only the people in your battalion may enter or see the map on the main screen. Uh, friends only, uh, that nobody else can see it because it's hidden. A private match or public. So what we're going to do is going to go friends only for the map. Allow invites because I want to invite people. Uh, map choice. So right now it's set at coastal threat. So you can see Coastal Threat, Cold Strike, all the maps. Just scroll through them all the way down to the bottom of the list. So we'll just leave it on Coastal Threat. Map Description. It's very important you type in a map description or it won't let you start it. So watch this. I just typed Test. Then hit Create. All right, now the custom match is now made, and you can see the lobby now. All right, so I picked Coastal Threat down at the bottom. Duration, five minutes. PVP, standard. PVE is coming eventually to custom match lobbies. I can delete it, or I can edit it. If I click on Edit, it brings back all those same options again. All right, so I can edit it while I'm actually in the custom lo lobby. All right, cancel that because I don't want to modify it. All right. So I'm in the center here in my PL1. And now what I'm going to do is uh, invite friends. So I click this button here, invite friends. And I'm going to invite Fox Incarnate. And I'm going to invite Nikoren from the 8th Canadian Zars. So those two people are over on the invite list. Click invite. And the invite sent. See how it came up on the bottom right hand of my screen there? Invite sent, invite sent. All right, there they are in the lobby. So what I'm going to do next is the teams are closed right now. See how it's there? Teams are closed. So they can't put themselves on any team. However, I can put them on a team. See, I can move Nick over there, highlight Fox, and I can put Fox over there. All right. Now, I can op open teams like this, and they can move themselves back into the center. All right, open teams, they can put themselves on the opposite teams, just like this. See, they're putting themselves on the opposite teams. Closed teams, all right, teams are now closed, and they can't move uh, back to the opposite side, all right? Now, there's a new feature in patch 0.15. It's very good. We ask for it specifically for tournaments. Notice how Fox is on this side and Nick's on the other side. All I have to do is click this button, swap team, and now Fox is over here, and Nick's over here. I'll have them both ready up now. Ready up? All right, now watch what happens. I'm going to click Swap Teams. I swap teams. This only happens when they're readied up, okay? This is an important feature you have to remember. I swap teams. They're in the opposite teams. See how they've unreadied? On their screens, it's a, a bug, I think, with 1.5. It probably says that they're still readied up. Can you guys confirm that? It still says you're readied up? No. No? Okay. And Fox, are you readied up? I am not. Okay. Now, 
they can ready up again and everything's good. All right, so I'm gonna open up teams and put them back into the center. Okay, move yourselves into the center. All right, see how they move themselves into the center, Nick? All right, all right, now what you can, I'm gonna right click on my, on Fox's name. All right, so I can set him as team one observer. So team one over on the left hand side. That means he can observe the observe the battle as team one. He cannot see team two from their perspective whatsoever. Set as neutral observer. That's where the streamers will always go. Set as neutral. So the observers will always be in the neutral observer. Set as team two observer. So team two over on the right hand side, they will only see from the perspective of team two. All right, chat. Invite the group, ignore player, view their dossier, set as leader. Okay, so if I have to take off for whatever reason, I can set anybody as the leader. I can also kick somebody from the lobby, which means they can come back to the lobby right away afterwards. I also can ban somebody, which means they cannot re-enter the lobby. All right, so that's some of the stuff I can do for other players. All right, I can also do this on myself. So... Obviously, the options are a lot less because it's for myself, so I can set myself as Team 1 Observer, Neutral Observer, or set as Team 2 Observer. All right, so that's how it's basically done. Uh, I'm The teams are open right now, so I'm just going to click Close Teams again, and then I'll move them to one side or the other. All right, and now what happens? See, I'm going to click Set as Team... I'm going to see, if, actually, if I can set them as Team 2 Observer. See what happens? I clicked him as Team 2 Observer. It automatically moved him over. I'm going to put Nick set as Team 1 Observer. And look what it did. It moved him over there. All right? So that means you can't screw that up, okay, if you if you want them that time on, on one side or the other. Also, it's very important that you ensure that the person you set as Observer is actually in that team. So don't start a match unless you are sure that that's the team they're supposed to be the observer on, all right? Um, and I can set myself as Team 1 Observer. I can set myself Teams 2 Observer. Or Neutral Observer will go in the center, all right? And then everybody just has to ready up to launch. And you launch the game, and that's it. Uh, we've got no players, so it's not going to let us launch just as observers. All right, so that's basically how to use the um, custom match lobby, how to set up rooms, how to name rooms. Um, and oh, actually, I'm going to go into the edit section one more time. So when you're setting up uh, lobbies here, uh, my cue is my press the talk button. You can see that there. In the match description, you put your team name versus the other team. You put it right in there, right in that spot right there. And that's... And that's where you put the team description for any matches or tournaments. Uh, or and, and this video is for everybody in general. But for matches and league play tournaments, that's what you do. All right. And that's it. I'm Will Toronto, uh, Armored Warfare League's coordinator, uh, co-coordinator, and Armored Warfare Peacekeeper. And thanks to the members of 8th Canadian Desires for helping out in this video. Thank you very much.